Hi, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss about the exercise during intermittent fasting, the high intensity exercise or light intensity or stretching. So in this video, the, we, uh, we will discuss about the whole, uh, whole, uh, uh, whole process uh, about the uh, exercise during the intermittent fasting. So first of all, I will uh, share about the intermittent fasting first. Intermittent fasting means within the day you can uh, you can eat one time or two time uh, meal and no snacking, no too much water drinking and no any sugar eating or any type of food. And in this process, the insulin will decrease. So in this way, the insulin will decrease, will lead to increase the growth hormone. Basically, both are anabolic, but the process is different. The function of the growth hormone is different. The growth hormone is used for the growth, while the uh, insulin is used for the deposition of the uh, glucose and other content into the cell and excessive deposition due to the excessive amount of insulin will produce so in this way the inflammation will produce cause if we are not going to the intermittent fasting remember that thing but remember the insulin when uh, not spike it, it means the content will not enter into the liver into the muscle other things so growth hormone is the alternative form which that is most beneficial and grows your body for cell division and maintain the uh, 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 maintain the young state and anti-aging uh, but the insulin is not like a anti-aging but insulin a chronic insulin production will lead to cause the diabetes mellitus type 2 so in this video we will just understand about the exercise during the uh, intermittent fasting so that is very good because the uh, growth hormone will produce during the intermittent fasting which that will directly stimulate the lipolysis and inhibit the lipogenesis because the lipogenesis is stimulated by the insulin so the glucagon also produce epinephrine and norepinephrine also produced during the intermittent fasting and on the other hand the growth hormone will also produce and the thyroid will also stimulate to produce more uh, thyroxine and triiodothyronine for enhance the metabolism and in this way the catabolism will occur so remember one thing when you uh, are uh, working hard in the gym when you are uh, 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 doing work more more exercise so in this way the consumption of energy first initial time uh, through a glycogen in uh, will break down into the glucose but the second step is not protein degradation so in this manner the muscle will not break muscle will not lose even muscle breakdown for recover again during the rest time due to the growth hormone our production on the other hand remember about that things when you are working so you uh, deposit the reserve uh, food like uh, adipose tissue the adipocyte will convert the uh, triacylglycerol into the free fatty acid into the blood circulatory system and beta oxidation will occur in this way the lipolysis will occur in this way the fat will burn due to the free fatty acid go into the blood circulatory system and go into the liver to produce ketones so the ketogenesis will trigger uh, rather than the glucose consumption uh, for the muscle movement the contraction of the muscle and the working uh, uh, energy uh, basically will not uh, produce from the glucose but produce from the uh, adipose tissue so adipose tissue degrade and in this way the uh, lipolysis will occur so will lead to fat burn and directly linked with the weight loss so the weight ultimately lose but healthy weight lose because in this manner when you are under the uh, restriction uh, of the food so in this way your internal reserve the fat and the other uh, fat and glucose will consume first and after this beta oxidation will occur in the mitochondria in the liver hepatocyte will produce more ketones and ketones is work more efficiently to provide energy throughout the body and throughout your all organs so in this uh, uh, way you can improve your health and lose your fat on the other hand the insulin insensitivity can be improved and the type type 2 diabetes mellitus will 
decrease while the insulin sensitivity will increase so whenever you will eat the food whenever you will eat anything so the insulin sensitivity will be high so the glucose ultimately directly move into the cell for metabolism normally and again you can restrict uh, as a intermittent fasting to again starvation mode and again exercise to lose more fat and again and again but remember one important things I, uh, I want to share with you you should not eat too much fat during the intermittent fasting for example during the meal time because if you eat too much fat so your internal fat will not burn so the ketogenic diet means uh, a ketogenic diet uh, meaning is not you are adding more fat to consume fat it is not you can uh, decrease the calorie intake and uh, eat a moderate amount of fat but the minimum amount of protein uh, on the other hand glucose should be very very minor for example 3 gram 4 gram 5 gram but uh, 15 gram should be protein and the fat should be higher uh, as compared to the protein and glucose so remember that thing and in this way you can improve your cells you can uh, more shred it and decrease uh, the water intake when you will decrease the water intake your retention of the water the edema will decrease on the other hand the improvement is increased because you are consuming more fat through diet as well as the lipolysis will provide also the low density lipoprotein is using and cholesterol will be increased which that is using for the synthesis of the new plasma membrane of the cell it means the cell division will be more and the cell division will more will lead to anti-aging anti-aging process in this way you will live longer and decrease the cancer process because the growth hormone will improve and bone density muscle density and on the other hand your mental uh, cognition will improve your memory loss will be uh, decreased and memory improve on the other hand a lot of benefit through intermittent fasting even fasting throughout the day and you can improve your fasting uh, day by day to increase the duration of the fasting will lead to increase the health uh, in this manner so I hope you make sense about these things I hope you make sense and basically I am also making the handwritten tutorial about the biomedical science if you are a student or professional you can learn from that and uh, see you in the next video so that video was about uh, the intermittent fasting uh, and the exercise what is the effect of exercise during the intermittent fasting so that is very hundred percent beneficial and you will feel initial time of the intermittent fasting fatigue nausea and some uh, process and weakness but it is not throughout the time throughout the days uh, when it is the initial time due to the keto adaptation and adaptation of the starvation mode and your internal reserve will difficult to consume so that is the initial uh, time is very hard but the long term intermittent fasting will lead to improve your health and improve your uh, body physiology and working good with the ketones and ketones use as a energy rather than the using of the glucose so the glucose maintain automatically in your uh, blood circulatory system so whenever the requirement of the glucose minor amount will use through our insulin like growth factor 1 and 2 into the muscle and liver uh, and glycogenesis will trigger again when you are not eating so the insulin will not produce but the growth hormone will work for that things so in this way basically you can improve yourself and the intermittent fasting is very important throughout your disease de decreasing and the, on the other hand the stress and inflammation also decrease so thanks for watching uh, next video we will understand about the another topic uh, for intermittent fasting because I am making the videos about the intermittent fasting to understand better uh, through uh, my knowledge and through my uh, imagination or through my uh, experience because uh, this is uh, I am learning a lot of things about the intermittent fasting so see in the next video bye